I think I think what was tough was um, not being able to talk to anyone because I don't think anyone understood what I was experiencing. So if I'd say I'm not feeling, and I didn't know myself initially how to describe it. I've just all of these terms of I I knew what I was feeling, but I don't think I was able to communicate entirely what I was feeling. Like I knew I had this pitish feeling in my stomach. I knew that I'd I'd be scared to wake up. I didn't want to wake up. I wanted to always, you know. Uh, I, I found sleep, I found comfort in sleep because I felt like that was my escape. Um, and like waking up was a struggle. I didn't, I didn't enjoy. And in fact, I think that's something I'm still scared of. I don't like the sound of an alarm. Um, so. Yeah, I think waking up was was tough because I didn't want to face a day. Every day I had to wake up because I had to get, wake up, do something. Um, I didn't enjoy that feeling of um, waking up to an alarm and then um, <clears throat> going to work, I think I had to do it. I was, I was, I was working every day, uh, and there were days when I mean, of course, I think every day was a challenge to sort of under. I, I didn't know how the day was going to pan out for me. Um, I didn't know if uh, I think I'd be extremely conscious of being surrounded by people because if I needed to break down. I didn't know where I could do that. Um, and so I think I was always conscious of where I was going to be, although that was not in my control, because I think in my profession, you're, you know, I'm expected to be at different places at different times and no two days are the same. There's no pattern to any day. So I think there was always that fear of wondering where I'm going to be. What if I have that feeling of low? What if I need to break down? Um, and not knowing where to where to sort of um, have that moment to myself, and um, I was also, I think, conscious of people seeing it on my face. So um, it was a lot of effort, I think, to. I think to show like everything was okay because it it was not and I think to keep smiling or to keep um, giving energy to people around me to 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 sh to kind of overcompensate to show that everything was okay or that I was feeling okay I think was extremely exhausting. Before, of course, you know. Um, before it happened, in the time that I was suffering uh, or struggling, I wish that I had come across that one person who said, I think I know what it is. And it probably would have just made the whole process much, much easier. So I felt like if I then shared my a story with people, it would probably help a lot of people who till today are not aware of what um, they know they're not feeling their best or not feeling uh, correct or uh, feeling low or feeling unwell or whatever you want to call it. But I think it was important for me to 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 break that down and to say one second, this is what I make this. It, are you experiencing what I'm experiencing? Because this is what I went through. And I think that's, that's, that's what I wanted because like I said, I think for me, the minute I understood the term depression, it just made it so much easier to, to deal with.
Please do not forget to share and subscribe our channel.